Hello. Last time we talked about what polymers are made of at the micro scale and some basic properties of them. Today we will take a small step further and look at crystalline and amorphous structures, as well as glass transition and melting temperatures. In this example, we will use packed ramen to represent our polymer. Imagine that each piece of ramen is one polymer chain. So now we have a number of polymer chains evenly distributed in a specific volume. Look at this ramen. We can find regions of order and regions without long range order. The area with ordered and oriented ramen is called the crystalline region, and the area without it is called the amorphous region. Polymers with both these regions are called semi-crystalline polymers. There are three main structures of crystalline regions, lamellae, spherulite, and fibrillar. The simplest one is lamellae, and the chain folds in this way. Fibrillar structures are formed when lamellae stacks twist together. Then, over time, Continued growth of these regions yields a spherulite structure, which will grow uniformly as a sphere. As more of these crystalline structures are introduced into a polymer, the polymer's stiffness and strength will increase. Another property related to the chain structure is temperature. We know most materials have a melting temperature, and so do polymers. The melting temperature is characterized by the crystalline region of the polymer. However, polymers have one more characteristic temperature. This is called the glass transition temperature, or Tg. Let's look at chewing gum above and below its glass transition temperature. At Tg, the polymer will transfer from a brittle, glassy state into a rubbery state. Below Tg, the polymer behaves like an eggshell, and it breaks directly under a specific load. Above Tg, it is more rubbery and breaks after some deformation. Because of this behavior, many polymers are selected based on their Tg. If you've ever heard of the Challenger Space Shuttle disaster, and you have heard of a case where a polymer's TG was not considered. A critical plastic component in the rocket, a rubber O-ring, went from a ductile and rubbery state to a brittle state. It then failed to seal a joint, causing a leak and then explosion. Now try to find two household appliances in your home. Are they above or below their glass transition temperature? Another interesting phenomenon about these two temperatures can be seen on the plot of the temperature change versus time. When an object is heated, its temperature increases. When it reaches the melting point, it will stay there for a while before increasing again. However, at the glass transition temperature, it will not stop even for a second. The temperature will keep increasing, but the increasing rate will change. Thank you all for watching. If you have any questions about TG, melting temperature, or amorphous and crystalline structures, then please post in the comments. In our next video, we will talk about how polymers break.